Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for being here. Okay, so let it go, ignore them, and smile. How many times in this life have you often walked into a situation, or perhaps you've been somewhere and somebody's made a remark at you, or a, a bit of a face, <laughs> or a facial reaction, or someone's just been a bit sharp with you, and it's ended up ruining your moment, or your day, or or something, and it's really played on your mind quite a bit. Well, this has recently happened to me a couple of times recently, once <laughs> once um, last weekend, and that was actually physically right in front of me, and I so wish I would have acted sooner. And then the other times where this has happened this week, I've had a few comments on my YouTube channel. Um, yes, and, and do you know what, that's, for me, do you know what, when I first had them, it really did bother me, it really, really did, but now I don't, and do you know what, I just, I, now I read them and I think, well, do you know what, everybody's entitled to their opinion. If you don't think I'm telling the truth, or if you think that I'm not being truthful, then unfortunately, that's your problem, because I am, and that's what my channel is based on, it's based on integrity, it's based on honesty, and it's based on truth. Why on earth would I sit here and lie to be quite honest with you? Do you know what, I've even had, I've even had a comment, okay, this wasn't this week, this is going back a little bit, but I've even had a comment with somebody getting really quite high rate with me because I was talking about hair um, and thinning hair and one thing or another and the person was adamant that I had a wig on that I was wearing a wig. I mean, yeah, that sounds a little bit, you know, thank you. If you think that my hair is thick enough and looks good enough for that, um, then I took it as a compliment. I didn't, you know, I didn't even put a reply back. All I actually, well, I did tell you the truth. What I, I meant that I didn't come back with a comment. What I actually done was thank you for visiting my channel. If I get, if I get a real challenging comment, I always go, thank you very much for visiting my channel. Uh, uh, much appreciated your comment, your feedback. I always put something along the lines of that. I don't bite back to it. because I think if you start biting back to it, then you almost lose yourself. You lose that kind of integrity, that wall starts to come down. So for me, that's what I do. I always try and see the positive and I always try and think there's a reason that somebody else is going through something. And perhaps they see me talk about something or they've seen something and it just perhaps hit a bit of a nerve with them. So do you know what? I always try to see the positive in something and just forget and move on. So <laughs> do you know, what? and, and that's, that's the whole ethos about what we're doing, uh, what I'm talking about today is let it go, ignore it and smile because do you know what? and this was and i will again tell you this but there's so many times in life isn't there where you think to yourself oh i'm just boiling over well do you know what? that doesn't necessarily very happen happen often to me i'll be quite honest as i say i always try and see the positive in everybody and i always try to offer the, the most positive me to everybody as well but i was actually out um at a, at a store uh, doing some uh, grocery shopping with my mum and my brother uh, last weekend. And this was the first time, bearing in mind, my mum has had uh, major surgery. And it's seven weeks today, actually. So it's six weeks. This was the first time she'd ventured out properly, to be quite honest with you. And um, she, she had a walk around and she picked up some things because my mum runs our home like an absolute family home, like a dream. And... Um, <laughs> and nobody does things quite like mum at all. I like to think I'm quite far behind. Not far, not far behind, sorry. But, um, but yeah, anyway, so it was really great to get mum um, out, and it was really, really great. And we actually, I, I treated my mum and my brother to breakfast. We went out for first of all. And then we were in the store, and um, my mum is still in some discomfort sometimes if she moves or she does a bit too much walking or bending. And when we went to pay for the groceries and things, I insisted that she went, uh, she went back to the car or took a little bit of a walk and then just rested. Um, and I handled everything from there. And, um, but you know what? My, I can't quite remember what my mum was doing because I wasn't, I, I was coming around the aisle just after she had. And this woman, and I just remember she had very, very bright red hair. And, and this is the thing I thought was a really, really sad point that she had a little girl with her. And to bring up somebody, uh, to bring up a child or anybody to think that that is okay to treat somebody like that or to speak to somebody like that, I think is really, really bad. And um, my mum was walking on and she happened to be uncomfortable. And all of a sudden she went like that. And of course, it showed on her face. And this woman, as she walked past, okay, as she walked past my mum, said something which I didn't quite hear, and I finished it off with this facial remark, okay, and then she said, look at the face on that. And I thought, you know what? I thought, cruel, honestly. And with that, I, and I don't do this often, I turned around and I said, excuse me, what did you say? And the woman didn't hear me, and she carried on, I was so heated knowing what my mum had been through, knowing the journey she'd been through, the pain, the, the, the trauma, the discomfort, absolutely hell and back. 
And here she is on her first journey out. But yet, no, we couldn't do that. We couldn't just do that. There had to be somebody else. And I think that's the thing. What I'm saying to you is things like that happen all the time. Now, I can try and find a reason or sit here and try and justify that for that person. But actually, sometimes we do have to realise that this world, there is there is bad in this world. There is broken elements in this world. And people do think that it's okay to treat others like that. And do you know what? In the greatest will in the world... To try and make that all okay and justify it, you can't. It's just somebody bad in that moment, to be honest with you. They're not a bad person, absolutely not. But just in that moment, yeah, that wasn't the right thing to do. So you've just got to let it go, ignore it, and smile. Because at the end of the day, my mum's an amazing person. She's an angel walking. What are you? comment like that, to be honest, not really much, are you, if you're paying those type of comments to people, <laughs> but I know that's really a bit nasty of me, and forgive me for that, because I'm sure there was a reason, but I just, when I walked away, I was so heated, and I thought, how people can just judge, and how people can just do that when they don't even know what somebody's going through, isn't the same way, I don't judge or don't comment on somebody, and she walked a mile in their shoes, I'm an avid believer of that, I never pass judgment, I never pass comment, Okay, I've said one or two things about that particular person there, but it hurt me here. That really, really hurt me. It really, really did. I thought, you know, you haven't got a clue. Move on, please, quickly. But what I felt for, okay, in that situation was if you're bringing up that little girl and thinking that that's okay to be like that with people, it's a bit of a sad world we live in, isn't it? I just thought, you know what, with my nieces and nephews, I always try to be the best me in front of them all the time. Well, I do with throughout my life everywhere. Anyway, but I would never, ever think of doing anything like that. I'd never do that anyway. But anything sort of like that in front of my nieces and nephews and, and anybody, to be quite honest with you. And I just thought for someone to feel that confident to do that is just crazy. And I know, do you know, that happens all the time. It's like, take, for example, I've had a few comments on my YouTube channel. And again, I have a hearing problem and I have had, the amount, honestly, I've lost count, the amount of comments I have had in derogatory remarks I've had from me having a hearing problem, people mouthing words at me, making out that I'm completely deaf. Um, yeah, absolutely awful. I think one of the worst ones, I used to work in retail banking, loved my retail banking career. I was a community banker and I absolutely loved my role. And um, I remember I had a customer in front of me one day and I was speaking and he clocked because I never had long hair then. I had it slicked back over um, like those 1920s inspired looks, 1910s style looks I like. And the customer turned and said, so you're deaf then? I was like, wow. OK, and I went to say something. And so you're deaf then? And I went to say something again. So you're deaf then? So you're deaf then? And it was, um, I would say, probably mid to late 20s. Um, and he kept saying it and saying it. And you know, I just thought to myself, honestly, and I was so angry and so upset, but yet almost that vulnerability streak in me that, wow, someone's actually pointed out this kind of almost weakness, which I now see as a strength. And that's been pointed out to me in front of people. It's almost like that verbal well-being, mental health assault there and then. I remember one of my colleagues, very, very good friend of mine, um, came over and intervened and I just froze and I just walked off. Of course, there was a bit more to it than that, but I just walked off and I just thought, wow. So I've had a lot of things like that. I've had a lot of things like that, unfortunately, around my hearing. Um, I think that is the one which always stands out in, um, that always stands out in my mind. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, there's a few other things. Unfortunately, in my, in my retail banking career, I went through quite a few things like that. Um, some about my, some about my hearing, um, and some just because you are that face in that moment in time when people are having problems and issues, of course, with finances, people do tend to get very stressed, very vulnerable, very anxious, very, very quickly. And they take it out on you. They don't necessarily mean it, but they do. Then it's important, of course, to let go, ignore it and smile, because at the end of the day, you're doing the best you can. And I truly do believe that if you do the best you can in every situation, hold yourself well, always be polite and kind, then you're, you're going to be the one always in the right. You really, really are. Um, sometimes, unfortunately, just letting it be is a really, really powerful thing. I remember somebody um, really getting very aggressive, speaking back and um, really, really going and going and, um, in my prior job, actually. And sometimes, of course, you can't say anything in your role. Of course, you can't. Um, and that would be, I would never, ever do that anyway in my personal life, in my, um, in my career or anything like that at all. But 
the lesson from that is that sometimes what you don't say can be just as powerful as what you do say. And I think as I go through life and I get a little bit older and I'm coming now towards uh, the latter part of my 20s, of course, I'm turning 30 this year. I am developing uh, sort of emotionally, sort of well-being, uh, mental health, sort of a bit more shielded, that type of thing. And I think that's life experience which, get, which gets us through that. And sometimes, do you know what, with all of the things which we've got going on in here and here, sometimes if someone pays a remark, you have to think, actually, wow, do you know what, for you to actually say that or for you to actually show that or to do what you're doing or act the way you are, you must really be hurting inside or you must really, really be struggling inside. And for that, I forgive you. I may not say that, but in my heart, that's what I'm saying to you. And I walk away and I let that happen. I never, ever forget. And I, this really, really, in, in a moment, it really did, it, it knocked me for six. It really did in that moment. And, um, and again, it's about the, it's about the whole hearing thing. And it was almost like, I remember one particular occasion where somebody was almost a, a verbally attacking me, um, raising that I had a hearing problem. And, um, and this particular person was disabled themselves. They were in a wheelchair and it came from the frustration of them being in a wheelchair, but yet that I had a disability, but yet I could still walk and move around. But yet this particular person couldn't because they had a disability of their leg. And I, in the moment, I was, it was so vicious and so horrific to actually go through. I was, I was called all sorts of things. I didn't know what I was on about. This, this was a customer. Um, in the end, he was threatened to leave. Um, but actually, the nice essence of this is that we managed to come through that talk, understand. He apologised and left and never ever seen him again. Um, somebody had to intervene for us to get that way. Yes, absolutely. But it was told to me that I didn't know what I was on about. I wasn't capable. Why should I be working? All this, that and the other. And this was one person. So I've had quite a few things like that. Um, happen. And you know what? Another thing, another thing, this is, this is, um, sort of people making, uh, statements and judging and, and being presumptuous. Um, I mean, even from an early age, I mean, I was brought up, uh, I've been very, I've been absolutely blessed in this life. I have a very, very privileged, I had a very, very privileged upbringing with my parents. And, um, and for that, I'll always be eternally grateful to them. And I, I grew up in that with my my amazing mum, my amazing dad, and my amazing nan at like the parent table, um, hypothetically speaking, over our family. And I've always been told I, my my father was in the forces and done incredibly well, um, and we were always brought up to speak correctly, and that we had to pronounce every every uh, letter in the words, and we had to speak properly. We weren't allowed to use slang terms. We had to speak correctly. Um, we had to do all of our homework by a certain times. We had to sort of act a certain way. We were brought up with with great manners. And you know, that's something I brought on into, into my life, um, into my adult life. Now, the assumptions, which always, um, which I've had a couple of times as well, that, and there is nothing wrong with somebody who, whoever is gay, um, nothing wrong at all with that. You are who you are. Um, the Lord made you who you are and that's who you are. Um, Here's when it becomes an issue. When you're in a, a, a public environment, for example, I was in a very, in a beautiful, very, very big backy hall. I used to work, um, marble floors and, um, a stunning, stunning modern environment. Really, really sleek, absolutely beautiful place to work. Um, in a very old sort of bank building. And, uh, this particular, uh, I can't really, I can't really think how old she must have been. I would, I would have thought fifties, maybe early sixties. And I was uh, serving, looking after this particular customer, and I was talking, and then all of a sudden, she, um, I can't quite remember the words now, but it was along the lines of, um, the likes of you people. I said, excuse me? And I thought, I thought she meant my hearing, first of all. I thought she meant that, um, the hearing problem I had. Um, but no, it wasn't. And I said, what do you mean, you people? She said, well, you're gay, aren't you? And I said, no, no, I'm not. And actually, if somebody was, that would be absolutely horrific. And everybody heard. And it didn't bother me. But it was just, it bothered me the fact that she thought that that was okay to do that to somebody. And I mean, at the time in that, in that branch, um, we had had somebody recently start in that branch. And we were training um, that colleague of ours. And we were a very close knit team. And actually, he happened to be gay. And um, I, I didn't really, none of us really knew him at the time. But it was just so 
it was just so timely that he actually wasn't there. He was upstairs doing some training, um, I remember rightly. And I thought, wow, you actually think that that's okay to class somebody in a group like that and actually think that, you know what, you people, you can you can speak like that about people. And she was laughing and she thought that was acceptable. And I said, excuse me, that is not acceptable. And I actually stopped what I was doing and it was a transaction. I stopped what I was doing and I actually asked her to leave. And that's how, how it developed. And the customer kicked up a little bit of a fuss. And I said, unfortunately, I'm all within my rights because of the comments you're making to refuse to serve you. There was no one else to serve her. And she left. And I don't know if it resulted in a complaint. In fact, actually, good. I hope it did. Um, and I've, that's always stayed in my mind. So, I mean, just the three things straight off there. How somebody thought that was okay to just categorize and, and call somebody out like that. And do you know what? If you are gay, then do you know what? what you've been through and to be able to come through that and to be able to identify that. Do you know what? Amazing of you. Amazing of you. Most people go through this world never knowing what they actually truly are, even as a person, whether or not even they're a good person. Some people go on to do horrific things. Some people spend their whole life trying to work out who they actually are and what they actually want in this life. You've already done that. So do you know what, my friend? Congratulations if anybody does watch this and they are, they are actually gay. And I thought, do you know what? That type of person, horrific. The person who was disabled themselves and called me out with my hearing problem. My heart actually broke for them because in that essence of that moment, with what he was going through, he actually threw that on me. And it wasn't until I actually took the time and actually thought, do you know what? What this person is going through, you've just put it on me and you've been really quite nasty with me. But yet actually, there's a reason. And I know sometimes we cannot justify anybody's actions. But it just goes to show, doesn't it, when somebody pays a comment or when somebody says something or somebody does something or an action or they, or anything like that, it may be because they're breaking up inside or it may be because they're hurting inside. Going back to the person as well, of course, when somebody was shouting at me, so you've got a hearing problem, so you've got a, so you're deaf then, so you're deaf then, so you're deaf then. Let it go, ignore it and smile. So my comments on YouTube last are, are, <laughs> I'll enlighten you with this as well, honestly. So a couple of comments. So I've had about two comments, I think, who people have absolutely point blank <laughs> believed that I had a wig, okay? Um, and the others is that I've had a hair transplant. I have not had a hair transplant at all. Um, and a couple are just downright rude and nasty and how I looked ridiculous and how I sound ridiculous and this, that and the other. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's been quite enlightening. I have to admit this week I've had a couple of them. Um, and like I say, always just thank the person visiting my channel and thank them for leaving a comment and then move on from there. But my, my sort of end comment in sort of end sort of conclusion, you can say, uh, for this clip, is that actually, whatever we go through life, I, I've given you the example of what happened with my mum last weekend and the different things with me, is that actually, sometimes it's what we don't say and just letting it go is the most powerfulest. Do you know what? All of those people could have quite easily have wanted me to go back. Okay, apart from the woman who thought she was being funny and saying, you people, but actually she wanted me to go along with that. So again, it's what we don't say is more powerful or coming back with actually just closing it down. Because by the way, if you're ever uncomfortable and somebody says something to you, even if you're in your job, for example, or you're out in your, in your personal life, in your spare time, you're socializing and somebody puts you in an uncomfortable position or somebody says something to you, call them out on it, call them out on it, then let it go. Don't just let it go. It's vitally important to call them out on it. Then let it go. Ignore it and smile because at the end of the day you're the bigger person you're the most amazing person and there's only one of you there's loads of that type of behavior around but there's only one of you okay so if you do have any questions or anything at all if you'd like to ask me please leave them down below i do my utmost best to come back to you as quick as i can and until then take great care god bless and i'll be seeing you then bye for now